Tyler, we're here with Grandmaster Ben Feingold, just outside the Chess Club and Scholastic Center of St. Louis. Uh, this is FM Mike Klein reporting for Chess.com. We've uh, caught up with Ben just before his round seven game with Grandmaster Yuri Schulman. Ben, have you decided what you're going to play yet? Uh, the game starts in about two minutes, so not yet. No, no, really. It starts in a couple hours, and I got two or three things in mind, and I'll probably decide at the board. Now, Yuri just had a heartbreaking loss after drawing every game seemingly since 2011. <laughs> Do you think he'll uh, want to put those memories behind him and come all out for a win today? Are you expecting some aggression? Well, you know, the, Yuri and I have played often, and we have a lot of draws. And the last time we played, he won. So I think uh, we're both going to want a decisive result today. Now, you've kind of become a mainstay around the Central West End in St. Louis, and you've just started a new company, Fine Gold Chess Enterprises. Um, are you and your son co-owners, or are you kind of the big boss man? Well, actually, he's a 75% majority owner. Uh, that was true. And, uh, yeah, we, we run things together. We do chess classes, hopefully after school starting in the fall. We're going to do some camps this summer. We're going to do at least five camps, which is going to be a, a bit busy for us. And we have a lot of private students. So Spencer has more students than I do, so kudos to Spencer. And uh, I know that you're a vegetarian, as are a lot of other chess players here. Why do you think such a high number of chess players are vegetarians? Um, I don't know if it's a high number, but it's, it's actually a lot at this tournament. That's a good question. I think we're vegetarians for different reasons, but as my son always says, he eats twice as much meat to make up for it uh, for the family. So, I, know, yeah. I know you're watching the big super tournament in Norway right now. Uh, what are your thoughts on the game so far? Um, very interesting games. It's unfortunate that uh, Hammer is getting hammered thus far. Uh, maybe he'll come back. Uh, Rajabov, as everybody knows, is having a bad uh, a bad couple of months, but he's no Chicago Cubs yet. Uh, lost 50 ELO in the last couple of months. Um, everybody was waiting to see the big matchup, Carlson and Anand, and Anand did well with Black and Drew. And uh, Karyakin's having a great blitz tournament and a great tournament. I'm actually a little bit surprised. I thought Carlson was going to dominate for years to come, but the last couple of months he just seems like he's very slowly better than the other top players with nothing special. So, while well, we're still waiting for him to do something this tournament. But, yeah, I'm doing commentary for ICC, and I do commentary for Chess.com as well. I spread myself around. That's what we do to find Gold Chess Enterprises. And we're looking forward to your commentary on Deathmatch 14 coming up later on this month. Uh, back to the U.S. Championship, what do you think the chances are that somebody can overtake Komsky? It's possible, but I, I think it's unlikely. I expect that God is going to win the tournament again, and probably by, by a point would be my guess. Okay. And what would be a successful end of the tournament for you? You're looking for a plus score? Well, that would, that's stretching things a bit, getting two and a half out of three. I think if I get two out of three and finish with 50%, that would be pretty good considering my start. What else do you like to do in and around the St. Louis area? Uh, well, I love the Central West End, as you point. I go for walks occasionally around here. I like Forest Park, obviously. Uh, well, I like teaching chess and hanging out in the area. But, yeah, I live right behind the chess club, and the Central West End is an awesome place to hang out. And uh, real quick, you had a big chess party, kind of like a Bermuda party the other day, the day before the rest day. Uh, that was well attended. How did it go? Uh, I have no comment. No, I'm kidding. Um, only one person was thrown out, and there were at least 30 people there. So I think that's a pretty good percentage. That's, that sounds like a muted Bermuda party. Well, <laughs> Grandmaster Ben Feingold, thanks for your time. This has been FM Mike Klein reporting for Chess.com.